there are 7 million trees in Singapore, of which 2 million are urban trees which you see by the roads, in the parks and on state land. And these are managed by NPARKS officers, including tree doctors or arborists like Surinim. Do you know that a tree can literally live forever if it's not disturbed? But the reality is that most trees don't. They face many stresses that can make them sick, weak, or prone to falling and snap branches. That's when incidents like these can happen. And it's why they need tree doctors to step in and make sure they're strong and healthy. A lot of us are called tree huggers. I have been inspecting trees for over 10 years now and I take care of the trees along the roads in Singapore. In Singapore, urban trees are inspected every 6 to 24 months. More frequent checks are done on mature and heritage trees as well as those in certain locations like car parks and event spaces. We mark their location because they don't move and then we measure their girth and we measure their height. Yeah. Okay, 2.6. Some parasitic plants on the branch looks very healthy. Possible pigeon pocket that might flower. Structure is great. Healthy roots. Tree is very healthy. Can go for its routine pruning. Yes. When humans go to doctor, the doctor will take your blood pressure. So this is the same thing that we do with the tree. Send over. The rangefinder will give us several details. So over here you see its height, the distance. Then there's uh, also slant distance, uh, the degree at which I was pointing at. It actually took us some time to take the six points dimension of the tree crown. We can input the details into our model too, which will then predict the stability of this tree under different wind load conditions. We go through uh, eight, over 80 point checklist uh, when we inspect the tree. So the checklist will focus on uh, things like the condition of the tree crown, the tree trunk as well, tree root, and it includes the surrounding site conditions as well. At the same time, we have also uh, looked into removing of storm vulnerable trees because over the years, we have uh, records of all our tree failures and we know which are the trees which are more prone to failure, which are more hardy. Up till recently, manual inspections have been day-to-day -day work of arborists. An arborist might inspect about 400 to 500 trees a month this way. And soon, there'll be more trees to care for. We aim to plant additional 1 million trees in Singapore by 2030. Planting additional 1 million tree uh, definitely has additional impact on my work because that would mean that I need to maintain these additional 1 million trees. But a new way of working is already taking a lot of hard labour out of the equation. Since 2017, MPARX has been working on the prototype for a remote tree management system, possibly first of its kind in the world. First, data on trees is collected by this rover. We capture complete digital twins of all the trees using an electric rover going around and stopping for every scan position. It's equipped with a laser scanner and two cameras. Using light detection and ranging technology, the scanner captures measurements such as the girth and height of each tree. We're going to do a scan position here. We have the scanner turning around and recording the three-dimensional distance of everything. So you can see it up here. It's, it's black and white because it's only measuring the distance and the intensity of each point. It's also visible here. We start by creating a complete digital copy of the entire park or the entire streetscape. Everything is digitized in three dimensions and also with panoramic photos. Then we go to each individual tree and we create one to three centimeter accurate measurements of each tree. All the data collected by the rover scanner will then be used to create a digital twin, also known as 3D model of the tree, and matched with the corresponding tree plotted in MPARC's database. So officers will, uh, based on the system's recommendation, do a quick assessment. 
This new system firstly halves the amount of time it takes to collect data from an area. And the arborists don't have to spend time trudging from tree to tree. They can focus on evaluating the tree data remotely. The 3D model will help us generate a safety factor score for our tree structural model, which predicts the stability of trees under different wind load conditions. Working with the captured images and modelling tools, the arborists can spot trees that might be at risk. Say prune a tree by 10%, lower the crown and the width, and the safety factor is increased. So this helps us guide our pruning actions. The remote tree management system was trialled at Bishan Ang Mokyo area and has been deployed at Jurong Lake Gardens and Singapore Botanic Gardens. With precious time saved, tree doctors can invest in more frequent and thorough inspections of older and heritage trees. Trees are like human. Uh, older people actually need more frequent health screening and more checkups. The Pulai tree in the background, right, is actually super majestic and Heritage trees are picked up because these are the largest trees of that species within Singapore. So it is likely the grandfather of all the pulai trees in Singapore. And in botanic gardens, they have historical value. You see them documented since 200 years ago. They have witnessed all the changes in Singapore for so many years. It's like mind-blowing for me, to be very honest. <laughs> But even with technology's help, there's only so much that tree doctors can anticipate. Despite our tree management regime, uh, we can give the tree uh, all the inspection and all the diagnosis that it needs. A healthy tree can still fail if it encounters a wind speed or like a force that's greater than the strength of the wood. In the western part of Singapore, the usual in wind speed that we encounter is around 50 to 60 kilometers per hour for a normal storm event or a heavy rain. However, for in recent years, we have observed and seen that you know the wind speed has gone up to over 100 kilometers per hour for isolated storm events. So this increased wind speed could be a result of climate change. So apart from looking after existing urban trees, Sunim is involved in a plan to plant new urban trees in a different way. We have also introduced uh, multi-tiered forest planting along uh, some of our key ecological corridors. We have at least three layers and this mimics the forest environment. And these layers work together to provide support for each other, and we believe it helps them better withstand storm events. Planting different species in different layers doesn't just help trees be more resilient. This also creates a small forest ecosystem that increases biodiversity in our cityscape. I feel very proud helping Singapore to fight climate change. We are planting trees. We are developing technology to help us manage this increasing tree population. I believe it will make an impact on future generations to come when the trees grow and Singapore really become a better place to live in than it is now.